Hi guys, so for today's video I decided to try poly gel nails. I was originally going to try acrylic powder but I thought poly gel would be a bit easier especially for someone that's doing it for the first time at home. I've never done anything like this before but I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. I definitely could do with a little bit more practice but that will definitely come with time. You will need a gel base coat, some poly gel that I got from Amazon, a spatula and a firm brush, a small firm brush, a Miley nail prep and this electric file was actually sent to me but it is amazing. I cannot have done my nails without this, it's really strong, it's not flimsy and it's quite powerful and it comes with a whole set of heads and I'm going to start off with this one first. I um, put the speed to 3 and this goes to so high but I've properly removed my old gel that I had on my nails and I'm just going to create a rough surface on the nail so you likely want to go over the whole nail and then here I'm applying some Miley nail prep on all the nails just to prep them up for the poly gel. Now the poly gel kit comes with these nail forms and you want to fit them to your nail size. You can trim them if you need to but mine were quite okay and you want them to fit the nail all around my middle finger and my fourth finger i don't know what they're called are the same size so i only have four nail forms and you want the, to put the poly gel on a spatula put it on the nail form and you will need some alcohol or you could try acetone and dip your brush in it and this is where you want to take your time and kind of spread the poly gel in the inside of the nail form you want a decent amount of thickness not too thick though I like to flip the nail form over so that I can see through the nail form and see how opaque the shade is and I just keep going until I'm happy with it and you want to make sure you have alcohol because this stuff is sticky. Once you have a little bit of alcohol in your brush it's just so easy to mould and you know spread around in the nail form but here I'm just checking on the other side if I'm happy with it and it's all even. If the layer is too thin, when you pull it off it will break once you start filing it. So like I said, you want a good colour opaqueness on the colour form. If it's too transparent it means you haven't put that much on. So I'm going to now put my Miley base coat on my nail. I find this bit so satisfying, I don't know why. It just becomes so shiny. And I'm going to use my sensational lead lamp to cure my base coat and my poly gel. Um, this is, you can find so many on Amazon, there's a ton of Miley ones, but I'm going to cure this for 45 seconds. So once you've cured your base coat, you can now take your nail form and press it on your nail. Like so. Now with this, you don't want to press too hard because what you're going to do is you're going to push out all the poly gel out from underneath the nail form and you just don't want that and try to avoid touching your cuticle if it does spread out a little bit take some alcohol on your brush and just brush it away this bit is also important underneath your nail you want to make sure it's flat and it's not bulky you don't want um, water trapping in little spaces underneath your nail and the poly gel. This bit's so satisfying, it's like when you pull the nail form off, it's just so sleek and shiny. I'm going to use a gritty nail head for my electric filer and really shorten the nail and shape it to like a coffin shape because that was the shape I was going for. You can use a normal nail filer but this was just way quicker and convenient. I would definitely recommend wearing a mask because a lot of dust gets everywhere and here I'm just making sure both thumbs are the same length and I also like to roughly go around the cuticle areas to make sure there's no poly gel touching my cuticles. The worst thing is is getting water trapped underneath um, your poly gel and in between your nail and that's just going to cause bad things so just make sure it's all clean. I'm moving on to the second finger right now just to show you guys again how I did it so I went with my base coat cure for 45 seconds apply my poly gel onto the nail press quite firmly but not too much remove any excess poly gel around the cuticle and then I'm making sure to flatten the underneath bit and making sure there's no bulkiness or pockets cured for 45 seconds and then you can pull off the nail form and it just looks so beautiful now this pink is not my favorite pink but there's definitely other shades on Amazon for poly gels, so I will 
definitely pick some more up or I actually don't mind applying this and then putting another gel colour on top just to lengthen my nails out. Now I'm using the Gritty Nail Head to kind of create a rougher surface um, on the poly gel. I just find this so satisfying. Look at look at that. Smooth. Beautiful. I was actually I was finding this so therapeutic, guys. I'm all for that voiceovers by the way. If you're new to my channel, I do apologize. I try my best, I really do. But I'm using the electric nail file to really shape my nails um as a coffin shape and to create a rough surface on the top because we're gonna apply some um kind of like flakes and a top coat as well. I also did take the time to clean up my cuticles because because this is my first time I found that I got quite a bit of poly gel on my cuticles and I didn't like that so I made sure to take it all off. I used my nail prep again by Miley to just see how it all looks and also prep it for the top coat as well and it, as you can see it just looks so much better. <laughs> already i'm going to use this really tiny nail head to really clean up underneath those nails like i said you don't want any pockets that water can get trapped in or food or anything basically um and you can avoid doing too much work here if you whilst the poly gel is wet you can really shape it out to make sure it's all flat underneath um because if you press on the poly gel you will end up with bulkiness underneath so make sure to flatten it out I'm going to use this um, these flakes that I got sent. It's actually make for makeup purposes, but I thought it would be cool on my nails. And I'm going in with a layer of top coat by Miley, and you want to um, then put the flakes on the top coat whilst it's wet. Now, I wouldn't really recommend these because they were quite hard. So when I was curing it, it was quite spiky and hard afterwards. So I will show you what I did to get rid of that, but it was a, it was just a bit of a pain, but it looked pretty in the end. So like I said, after curing it for 45 seconds, there was quite a lot of spikiness. So I kind of filed it down a little bit put on a second coat of top coat and then I cured it for another 45 seconds and it seemed to go well. I decided to keep my forefinger um, plain without the flakes and I thought it was it looked kind of cute because there was like a nice ombre effect. I like that it looks so pretty so with when you once you apply the top coat it looks so much shinier um, so I'm doing the same on my middle finger so one coat of top coat and then you want to start slowly putting small specks of those flakes you can use gold flakes or even glitter but i found these quite cool because they were like holographic so you can just slowly apply these as you please i wasn't really going for the chunky big pieces i really wanted the smaller ones like this one here was way too big so i decided to take it off but yeah this whole process took ages because um i'm right-handed and my left hand um, doing my right hand was quite hard it took a whole afternoon but once I was able to use my right hand on my left hand it was so much easier so again once I cure for 45 seconds I put a second coat of top coat and cure it again for another 45 seconds sometimes I would do three coats of top coats because sometimes the flakes come off whilst I file them down a little bit to make sure they're not sharp or bumpy um, but it's fine it worked out in the end like you can see some flakes are coming off here but if you add a little bit more and then you want to make sure you finish with a top coat at the end and you just see it will come together you can totally skip this step or just use glitter will be so much easier because you won't need to like file it down to make it smooth and here i just took the time to finish up like areas where it, i needed to file a bit more or shape them a bit more and like i said you want to finish with a top coat cure it for 45 seconds and then wipe it away there are top coats out there where you don't need to wipe away the sticky layer at the top but mine does I, f I don't mind it but these are the final nails guys i hope you enjoyed this random video i rarely do nail videos but i really wanted to try this out and i think i don't need to go to my nail technician anymore because why would i when i have everything at home and poly gel is actually so easy this is the first time i'm using it i was able to do my right hand using my left hand it's so smooth and shiny 
and I'm pretty pleased. I was able to do that ombre effect. And trust me, I'm not that great with nails. And I'm quite happy with the underneath bit as well. Just want to make sure it's all smoothed out. It's not bumpy. Everything I use in this video will be linked in the info box. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And like this video if you want more videos like these. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.